thank you for your mercy, O oh God. We ask, O oh God Almighty, that I speak to your people, Lord, through your word today, O oh God, and let your word minister to every heart here, O oh God. Let lives be transformed, let souls be transformed, O oh God, into your light, in Jesus' name. Our major prophet, thank you for this opportunity, Papa, to minister to God's people. I'll be speaking on fulfilling God's agenda. Amen. And the church shall say, So now we'll be talking about fulfilling God's agenda. Come with me to the book of Genesis 40. Genesis 40, please. Genesis 40, verse 4. And the captain of the guard charged Joseph with them, and he served them, and they continued a season in word. And they dreamed a dream, both of them. Each man his dream in one night, each man according to the interpretation of his dream. The butler and the baker of the king of Egypt, which were bound in prison. And Joseph came in unto them in the morning and looked upon them, looked upon them, and behold, they were sad. And he asked Pharaoh's officers, What were with him in the word of his Lord's house? Saying, Wherefore look ye so sadly today? And the verse 8 will say, And they said unto them, We have dreamt a dream, and there is no interpreter of it. And Joseph said unto them, Do not interpret. Do do not interpretation belongs to God. Tell them, I pray you. I will stop here for now. We'll be citing on Joseph. Joseph, the agenda of God for Joseph's lives. life. So it came a time that Joseph was thrown into prison with the baker and the butler of, um, of Pharaoh's um, palace. And then they came to him, they had a dream, and no one could interpret this dream. But God purposely kept Joseph for a time, as, as for such a time, for him to be there, for him to be present, to experience that. And he had to ask them, what, why are you sad? Somebody say, I am a solution bringer. I can't hear you say, I'm a solution bringer. I bring solutions. So God placed Joseph as a solution bringer to Egypt, but he started the manifestation from the prison. So he told them, he said, don't you know that interpretation of dreams belong to God? The word of God makes us to understand that we should trust in the Lord with all our hearts and lean not on, all, on our own understanding. In all our ways, we should acknowledge him. So Joseph had to acknowledge God first and make them understand that interpretation of dream has to do with God. It is not a man-made thing. Someone say, it's not a man-made thing. I can't hear you. Yes, it is, a, it's, it is God's, God's position to interpret dreams through human beings. He uses humans to interpret dreams. So then he went and said, and in the vine we had three branches, because they were explaining the dream to him, three branches, and it was as though it budded, and her blossoms shot forth, and the clusters therefore brought forth ripe grapes. 11 says, and Pharaoh's cup was in the hand, and I took the grapes and pressed them into Pharaoh's cup, and I gave the cup into Pharaoh's hand, and Joseph said unto him, this is interpretation of it. The three branches are three days. Yet within three days shall Pharaoh lift up thy head and restore thee unto thy place. And thou shalt deliver Pharaoh's cup into the hands and the former manner when thou was with his butler. But think on me when it shall be well with thee. So Joseph made them to understand that if I, when, when this happens, think of me, don't forget. Someone say, don't forget. Because some of us have forgotten those who have 
led us to Christ, forgotten those who have given us solution to a major problem, forgotten those who has led us into a breakthrough. When someone does something for you, look for a way to show appreciation. And that was what Joseph was trying to let them know. You have to show appreciation to preserve that blessing, to make it come, to make it come in double fold. And this is what happened. For indeed, I was stolen away out of the land of the Hebrew, and that's 15 we say. For indeed, I was stolen away out of the land of the Hebrews, and here also have I done nothing that they should put me in the dungeon. When the chief baker saw that the interpretation was good, he said unto Joseph, I also was in the dream. So they both had dreams. They both had dreams. So you see what God does. He likes to confirm his word. One way or the other, he confirms his word. So he made the two of them dream, have dreams separately and made Joseph interpret, provide solution to that dream. Someone say, I'm a solution bringer. So it, 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 it boils down to letting you know that wherever you are, whatever position you find yourself, if you are a doctor, you are a lawyer, you are a trader, wherever you find yourself, that is a platform to showcase God. That is a platform to manifest God's agenda. You can be a market woman wherever you are. God can give you an agenda. God can give you a solution to that market. God can give you a solution to that business. He can give you true visions, true dreams. You can interpret someone's dream to the person. Interpreting someone's dream is in different angles. Someone can come and say, I want to, I want to start up a business, but I don't know how to go about it. I want to start up something, I don't know how to go about it. God will give you the answer to that person's problem. And that, that was who Joseph was. That was who he was representing. He was representing God. Because God brought solution to them through Joseph. And God was going to use Joseph's lives to make know his name. To make them know that he's in their midst. And yet again, within three days, Pharaoh shall lift up thy head from of thee and shall hang thee on the tree and the bird shall eat thy flesh from of thee and it came to pass in the third day and the, and 21 says and he restored the chief butler unto his butlership again and he gave the cup to the pharaoh so it happened as joseph said it and two years later two years passed because when it happened he forgot joseph in the prison two years passed and god was about to fulfill something god knew that Egypt is going to go through famine and they needed a solution. God already knew. That's why he pre-planned it. And because God wanted to elevate Joseph. So wherever you are in your life, wherever you, wherever you are, it becomes difficult. It becomes very difficult and very painful. God is taking you to your destination. Somebody say, hey, Amen. I can't hear you. God is taking you to your destination. So it means that Joseph was going to be the prime minister of Egypt, but he had to go through the process. It doesn't just happen. When David, before David became king as well, God gave him sheep to take care of in the bush. He had to learn leadership. The act of leadership had to come into play by training sheep. Then he started leading people. He took him from one stage to another. So when you are about to enter into a new level of your life, you have to understand that every place you find yourself, every place, every situation you find yourself, it is a vehicle to where you are going to. Someone say a vehicle to where you are going to. I can't hear you. Say a vehicle to where you are going to. So Joseph was about to become prime minister why he was about to provide solution as, as well. Somebody said double blessing. I can't hear you. He said double blessing. Yes, yeah, so God made him a double blessing because he became a prime minister, which was for his, to fulfill his destiny and also a solution provider to the land of Egypt. Amen. So, and it's favored. And also, what happened was that when the king had a dream and nobody could interpret it, I decree today in your life that when someone has a dream, they, when, when there is difficulty, may you be a solution to someone's problem. 
I can't hear you. May you be a solution to someone's problem. May you be a solution to nations in the name of Jesus. So Joseph was, was needed. They called him. The, 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 the chief butler reminded, uh, remembered and told the king. Because what happened was that if Joseph had told them that he interprets dreams, that God gives him inspiration to, inter to interpret dreams, they might not believe him. So he made evidence, said double evidence. So he, he, he interpreted the dream to the butler and the baker of, of Pharaoh. So there will be evidence. Someone say evidence. So there was double evidence to prove that God really spoke through Joseph. So they brought him and when he interpreted the dream, he told the, uh, the, the king of, of Egypt then that there's going to be famine and he, he needs to prepare. And when he was saying it, he said, God has said that he should get someone that he trusts. Someone that he trusts in this period to take Egypt through this process. And guess what? The king listened to him. Someone said, the king will listen to me. Somebody say, the king will listen to me. So now, God's agenda was fulfilled. Because one, he wasn't the God of Egypt. He was the God of Joseph. The God of the Hebrews. The God of Joseph that was in manifestation now. And they listened to him. And Joseph became the prime minister of Egypt. So I want you to understand something. In everywhere you find yourself, try and be a billboard for God. Try and tell people about God. Tell and make, people, make God known in your industry. Try and make God known in every area of your life. You're a market woman, you're a carpenter. Wherever you find yourself, we are all expression of God's beauty. We're expressions of God's beauty, God's love, God's kindness. Keyboard. C flat, please. We're expression of God's blessings. We're expression of God's God's increase and light. We're the light of the world. They say, go into the world and multiply. Go into the world and preach the gospel. Wherever you are, don't look down on yourself. Wherever you are, you are an expression of God. You're an expression of God's holiness. And to also build your relationship with God, you have to seek God's face and understand your purpose. What are you created on earth to do? What are you created on earth so that you fulfill God's agenda? You can't fulfill your own agenda. It's not your agenda. It is God that puts you here. So God is ready to use you. Say, God will use me. I can't hear you. Say, God will use me. Yes. You are a solution provider and that is what it is. And God will use you and you have to open your mindset. You have to change your mindset. Say, I have the mindset of abundance. Say, I have the mindset of increase. I can't hear you. Say, I have the mindset of increase. I have the mindset of abundance. Yes. So you have to change your mindset. You have to make sure that your mind is filled. He said, he said in Philippians 2, 5, he said, let this mind be in you, which was also in Christ. You have to be thinking like Christ. You have to understand why you are here. You are here to make a difference. Whether you are a lawyer, you are a doctor, you are a carpenter, God can give you a solution. God can give you an answer to people's problems. And that is why you are here. And also, you have to understand that you carry God and the act of giving is important. You have to give one way or the other. Your time, your effort, your money, you have to give. Giving is part of heaven's agenda. Do you understand? Giving is part of heaven's agenda. He said, for God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son. And whoever believeth in him should not perish, but have everlasting life. So he had to give his son. You have to give to be able to receive. A closed hands cannot receive anything. Do you understand me? A closed hands cannot receive anything. So you have to open up your hands. Open up your heart. Begin to give. Give your time. Give your effort to the things of God. 
to the things of, of the kingdom. Everything you do, think about the kingdom. Because God is the one that gives power to make wealth. Anything the devil gives doesn't stay. Only God's plan and God's gift stays longer than anything. And you will enjoy it. So the gift of God make it rich and added no sorrow. So I want you to understand that the agenda on earth, for you to fulfill that agenda, you have to come closer to God. You have to have a personal relationship with God. You have to understand his plan and his will. Whatever you do, you commit your ways into the hands of God and he will bring it to pass. He said, the thoughts I have for you are the thoughts of good and not of evil to give you an expected end. So that's your expected end. Whatever you want to be, you have to build it around God. Somebody say, build it around God. I can't hear you. Say, I am building my life around God. And I am fulfilling heaven's agenda. Praise the Lord. So I leave you with this today. Go back home. Readjust yourself, try and align your purpose with God, and understand that you can do all things through Christ who strengthens you. And He's the only one that strengthens you to make all things happen. So, whatever it is you're thinking, whatever it is you want to be, wherever it is you want to go, whatever level you want to attain in life, you have to understand that it is in God's hands. God bless you, church. Can you appreciate this almighty God for this wonderful moment? Hallelujah. How many of you know that today is a wonderful day? Today is day for the widows and the needy. And please, exercise patience because you are just dishing out the, you know, from the inside. From God's bed, we are just dishing out gradually. Please, ask me to welcome one of the mama in the house. One of our own. The great daughter of my father in the Lord. Prophetess. Ife Inwa Christiana to come and lead us a great moment a moment that every one of us enjoy before the widows who have the day thank you ma'am god bless you ma'am hallelujah praise master jesus somebody shout amen do you know we have lion in the house so we can't behave like a goat yeah it's only god that can walk like this Whenever you see lion, that stand. Lion doesn't give chance to any other, do, any other animal to suppress him. We can't give economic chance to bring our joy down. Somebody shout, Amen. Amen. Be on your feet because you are going to take over. Your voice is going to loud. All the nation will hear your voice. Say, I am in charge. If you are not speaking this word, you don't want to take in charge. Take charge in whatever you are doing. Say, I am in charge. I am in charge in everything I'm doing. I am in charge in my career, in my destiny, in my household, in my business. Anything that concerns me, I am in charge. I am fully authority to take over of the nation in Jesus' name. Somebody sit like a king, sit like a queen. Put a smile on your face. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Please, my daddy and my papa, God has given us a measure and will continue to celebrate his grace. Yes. Daddy, my almighty God bless you. Amen. For training children like us yes sir it is not easy at all i bless the day i meet you as a papa as a major the day god chooses you to anoint me in fact is a favor day amen may god bless you amen in jesus name amen somebody talk to yourself say i am highly favored i am highly favored in jesus mighty name we pray amen though we don't want to waste time but today is a wonderful service. Service. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. According to our Papa said, prophetic manifestation. Whatever he prophesies to your destiny, 
in your life wait it will manifest amen in the name of jesus amen i want to sing this song gionye jira kaya keni benuwa gionyo ponia nandigi awa we gini kam yeji we kene gina Abu Gini Kamgeji Gizi Yabu Iyonyeji Yopaya Keli Gwetu Ubegu Nakotu Ya Tati Amawe Gini Kamgeji Heavenly Father, we thank you. Thank you, Jesus. We bless your holy name. Yes, Lord. Because you are Alpha and Omega. Oh, yes, Daddy. The King of Kings. Thank you, Jesus. I am the I am. Thank you, Jesus. We bless your holy name. Thank you, Lord. In the name of the Father. Amen. Of the Son. Of the Holy Spirit. Amen. We are talking about dreams and vision. Dreams and vision. Every man house, vision, dream. Somebody shout amen. Amen. Sometimes you have a vision, but there will not be duration. I'm always appreciate the name of God. It's not by my own power, but His grace to make me to find a man, a prophet in the house who helped me to direct my vision. Amen. I am today, my vision has come to reality. Amen. I want to pray for you here. I receive. Where you are confused in your vision. Yes, Lord. Because you are still fit in this place. Yes, Lord. May heaven direct your vision. Amen. In the name of Jesus. Amen. Somebody shout amen. Amen. Can we quickly open book of Habakkuk chapter 2. Chapter 2. Verse 2 to 3. To 4. Are we in the house? Habakkuk chapter 2, verse 2. And the Lord answered and said, Write the vision and make it plain upon a table, that he may run that we did it. For the vision is yet for an appointed time, but at the end it shall speak, but not lie. Though it tarry, Wait for it, they surely come to, and it will not tarry. Hallelujah. Somebody shout, Amen! Amen! Wait for your walk on your dreams, walk on your vision, walk on your dreams. As our sister said here today, Joseph has a dream. Before the dream of Joseph come to reality, he encountered betrayers, persecution. Humiliation, rejection. Joseph has a dream to become a leader. Joseph having a dream to take charge. But before the vision and the dream of Joseph to come to reality, he encounters so many things. The problem of the temptation of trials of Joseph started from his what? From his father, from his family, from his brethren. Because he has a dream, 
He stand on his dream and walk on his dream. Believe in his dream. And the day came. All the circumstances around him could not stop him. It come to reality. Habakkuk said, bring your vision, place it on the table. Today, many of us here have mistake in vision because lack of duration. As our papa said here, the first day I came into this place, though we are Catholic, but I never knew that a large vision in my hands. Somebody shout hallelujah. Hallelujah. God spoke through him. He now told me, you are not ordinary to serve God, but he has a vision. You are called on the ministry, not a ministry, a church. And when it manifests, of a sure, people will know that God is God. Hallelujah. By the grace of, by the grace of God today, all the word that he prophesied to me come to reality. Amen. Somebody shout amen. Amen. Joseph has any dreams. And when the dream started, he what? He does not have the dream. He has in a dream at night and came and told his brethren, look at the dream I have. And the dream that I have is not him, but God gave him the dreams. God already made him. A day shall come. Jesus will become somebody oh, yes. that will be there for his community. That will be there for his nation. Yes. Somebody shout amen. Amen. But the enemy saw it far and go ahead in order to quench it. But he could not stop it. At all. He keep on pushing it. Mm. That is the reason Habakkuk said, bring out your vision. Somebody shout, my vision, my, vision, my, dream, my dream, can never be swallowed. Can never be swallowed. You are not prophesying. Say, my vision, my vision, my dream, my dream, can never stop halfway. Can never stop halfway. He keep on working on his dream. He keep on. He don't want to settle for less. He emptied himself with prayers. Empty himself by commitment, by obedience, by humility, by righteousness. Sometimes you dream, he has a big dream. But when the sin encounter the dreams, he begin to do what? He begin to see disappointment, failure. Sin is a killer of what? Dreams and vision. But when a man has a dreams and walk on your dream by obedience and by patience, you begin to flow. It begin to manifest mm. today because major in the house discover his dreams he walked by obedience by humility by commitment by rendering his service unto the lord today has become a major of the whole world yes. that you will see today say what happened to his grace oh yes he could not allow the situation he was once he has saw so many things on this vision mm. many have betrayed him Many have condemned him, but he does not give up his faith. Yes. He keeps on working for the dreams. Today he's working and enjoying the dreams. Oh, yes. Today everybody has seen the dreams. Yes. I want to drink inside the dreams. Oh, yes. I want to believe in the dreams. Yes. Because he's not allowed his dream to die off. At all. So many here today have a vision. Mm. You have so many dreams. Something in you is to have a quality something in your life. Can you speak to yourself? Say, I have a quality. I have a quality. I have what it takes. I have what it takes to become. To become what I'm destined to become. What I'm destined. Somebody to become. shout, Hallelujah! Hallelujah! So many are choosing to become a builder. When you are building for God, God is blessing you. Amen. That should be your own area of dreams. So I'm a call to help the needy. When you are helping. You are building. Amen. So I'm called to take over or to build or to take care of pastors or take care of the poor and orphanage. Mm. When you are doing it, you are growing. Amen. Everybody has an area where God call him on her. It may not be that you open ministry. It may not be you open church because our papa has opened church. Let me follow him. That is his own dream. Yes. And he pushes his dreams. Oh, yes. So he has his own dreams to what? To fulfill on the earth. Yes. What you ask yourself? Oh, God, show me a way to my dreams. Yes. Lead me to my vision. Yes, Lord. So that I will not make a mistake in my vision. At all. What favor me cannot favor you. But we are starting the same God. Hallelujah. Amen. You are dreaming when you bless people by your side. God bless your handwork. 
God bless your business. Oh, yes. God bless your career. Oh, yes. Your own maybe when you become a prayer warrior in the church, mm. when you are interceding for the nation, God is interceding in your family. Amen. Your own God, it may be you are a carpenter. Whenever you begin to do something, the governors and the king will locate you. Oh, yes. That is your dreams. Yes, Lord. Somebody shout hallelujah. Hallelujah. It may be in the church. God they bless you to be coming in this prayer seat. When you are singing with your voice, God is lifting you up. Amen. More you are singing souls as a wind. You become a soul hunter Amen. by your voice. And when you are singing, God is lifting you up. Amen. Today, as our Habakkuk said, bring your vision, place it on the table. Somebody shout, Amen. Amen. We are here today by the grace of God. As the little that we are going to do today, whatever that is in your vision that is not manifesting, whatever that is in your dream that is not growing, by the name of Jesus, those power we encounter today. Amen. More you are sounding like a, a child of fire, more the enemies disappearing in your way. Amen. Somebody shout. I am a child of destiny. I am a child of destiny. I am a child of grace. I am a child of grace. Whatever I lay hand, whatsoever I lay hand, shall prosper. Shall prosper. Whatever I do, whatsoever I do, shall increase. Shall increase. Anything about me, anything about me, begin to put foot today. Begin to be put foot Somebody today. Somebody shout, Amen. Amen. We have many people today, billionaire in the house. We have many things that you are going to do. It does not matter at all the level where you find yourselves. Yes. Keep on pushing your dreams. Oh yes. Keep on advising yourself. Oh yes. Have confidence in you that the day shall come. Mm. Your vision will be open. Amen. Somebody shout hallelujah. Hallelujah. So many are called to be in the edda. And when you have placed yourself in the edda seat and do what edda supposed to do in the church. Yes. When you go out to your business. You see an extraordinary grace. Amen. Because you obey the voice of God and you are in the right track. Yes. You are helping your vision to grow. Oh, yes. Somebody, in anywhere you find yourself, mm. make yourself available Amen. to become a child of God. Amen. To become somebody that will support the church, that will support the nation by support and giving people what they need to grow. When you are growing people by yourself, God is lifting you up. Amen. Somebody shout, Amen. Amen. You are going to prophesy to yourselves. Yes. As our papa said, you are a prophet of yourselves. Oh, yes. He has given you the grace to prophesy. Mm. Any vision that is died in your destiny. Fire. Joseph could not make mistake. Hey. Had even Joseph made a mistake, the vision would die. Mm. That has been the plan of his brethren. The last mistake, Joseph, that would place on him. The wife of the master encountered him. He said, that can never sin against God ah. or sin against my master. That is the final battle that Joseph encountered for his vision to manifest. Yes. Every of your challenges today, Fire. any of your problems that is making you not to rise, Fire. that making your dream not to fulfill, Fire. may the power of the Holy Ghost, yes, let Lord. the grace that function in this arena yes, Lord. begin to destroy that power. Amen. Say when I prophesy to myself. Mm. Say when I prophesy to myself. When I prophesy to myself, something begin to happen. Something begin to happen. When I speak, when I speak, the dead will rise. The dead will rise. When I speak, when I speak, the lame walk. The dead will walk. When I speak, when I speak, the eye, the blind will see. The blind will see. When I speak, when I speak, the body will be conceived. The body will be conceived. Somebody shout, Amen. Amen. Daddy, permit me. I want to speak to your daughter here. Hallelujah. Amen. Hear me very well. What you are doing now is called agenda. That's what God wants you to do. Do it well. Serve your master. Just save, serve his master. He must have trusted everything in him. He did not disobey, even when the master was not there. When the temptation came, for the sake of the trust of his master, for the trust that he has in his master, for the belief that he believes in God, he does not fall victim. He could able to stand against 
the shame that the wife is about to lead in him. I am going to tell you what you are doing here today is the direction of the Holy Ghost. You use your mind, do it well, serve this church with all your heart, serve your master with all your heart. God is going to place a new table that make the nation that know I am the Lord that blessed. Amen. Do it well. Close your ears. Don't allow your ears to open. It will cause a distraction. Close your ears. When you want to become something, when you want to become something in life, the first thing you need to do as a child of God, close your ears. Because your ears open for distraction. Allow your eyes to close in the spiritually. Open it physically so that you will not witness what can distract you. Someone shout amen. amen. I am speaking to you today. When you obey this voice, for your sake, your family, everything about you, this work you are about to do here, with all your heart, things are going to change for your family. Amen. Somebody shout amen. amen. Hallelujah. Amen. We are going to pray one prayer because no time. We are going to pray. We are going to pray. And that prayer is a prayer that will activate our vision. Anything that dead in your spirit, through this prayer today, heaven will activate it. Do you believe that? Don't settle for less. Tell yourself, say, I refuse to settle for less. It's don't settle for less. Don't allow situation to make you to settle for less. You have a choice. Tell yourself, I have a choice. Yes, you must have a choice. You are trying to serve God. You are trying to do the work of God. You are trying to do the right thing. And you are, you are trying to be rich, to be blessed, not for the poor. Somebody shout, Amen. I'm going to pray for you today. Lay a hand on your head. Please, choir, please help me with this song. Won't say, Mighty God. We serve what a mighty God. We serve heaven and earth as well. And just for people, what a mighty God. We serve. Now, how do you have? You have so much in the world. We give you some of the answers. What a mighty vision! Begin to speak. Begin to prophesy to your destiny. I have a shot that you can't 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 have a shot that you I prophesize to your life any dreams that are shattered out of ignorance. Is it by foundation? Is it by attacks of the wicked ones? Any of your dreams that given to you by your maker that have been shattered. By the name of Jesus, I command that dream. Rise up and fortune in the name of Jesus. I speak into your glory, your destiny, your vision. Whatever that stops your family, not to see their dreams, not to manifest in their vision, not to become what heaven has destined them to become. Whatever that limits others halfway, whatever that made from big to the poor, I speak to that power because your hands is in your head. Yes, I command the name of Father, of the Son, of the Holy Spirit. Holy Let your head receive power Amen. to activate in the name of Jesus. Amen. Finally, can you be on your feet? Thank you, Jesus. Be on your feet, please. Hold your neighbor. 
I'm going to wind it up. You are going out here today with what they call devil blessings. Amen. Your story will change. Amen. Things begin to manifest in your life. Amen. Be in agreement. Hold your neighbor. Agreement. The Bible said, when two and agree, and when they decree, because they agree, they work together. Somebody will agree, we are going to work together in the presence of God. Yes, Lord. Somebody shout to me. Before I start this prayer, say any sin in my life. Any sin. Confess. Say any sin that is in me, hindering me not to move forward. Oh God, show me mercy. Show me mercy. Show me mercy. Show me mercy. Any of my attitude, disobedience, that is not glorify God. Father, have mercy. Father, have mercy. In, the in the name of Jesus. In agreement. In agreement. They say, my neighbor, yes, my, brother, my brother, this in agreement, say, speak to yourself. Say, oh God, oh God. In, agreement. in agreement, in agreement, in agreement, we prophesize. I prophesize in your life. In your life. Say, I prophesize. I prophesize. We are going to do it. We are going to prophesy to your brother. Yes. Your sister prophesies to your neighbor. Yes. Hello. Hi. We are walking the things of the spirit. And when you do it and obey, something begins to happen. Yes. I am going to encounter any agreement that enter in your destiny by kingdom of darkness, by a chase order, by demonic order, yes. by marine order, Father. by aquatic order, by witch's order. Father. Any agreement that is not of God, that enemy has entered on your head unknowingly, that working against your vision or your dream today, as you are entering in agreement, the agreement shall scatter in the name of Jesus. Amen. Sometimes you don't know what is happening in your life. You are working like a man to become somebody. You are working like a woman to become somebody. Something is holding you down. It may be things of the spirit that you could not see. But because the highest of the prophet is in the house, prophet and major, he sees the things of the spirit and the things of the physical. When he prophesies, when he begins to do something, the things that is not of God begin to set you free. The power in this place is a power that the one cannot encounter. Yes. Be in agreement. I am doing this prayer for the sake of family here. And you are going to be number one to be free. Amen. Tell yourself, say, I must be free today. I must be free today. Anything that is not of my vision. Anything not of my vision. That delaying my vision. That delay my vision. Delaying my dreams. Delay my spirit. Will set me free today. Will set me free today. Say, oh, my brother. Oh, my brother. I prophesy to you. I prophesy to you. We savor whatever that is hindering your dreams. Whatever that hindering your business. Whatever that hindering your gift. Whatever that hindering your destiny. Whatever that seated upon your vision. In the name of Jesus, I prophesy to you. Let you set you free. Begin to prophesy to abroad. Open your mouth. Prophesize, prophesize. Talk to him. Pray for your brethren. Pray very well. As you are praying, I am seeing someone being the bread. Your dream is manifesting. Your vision is manifesting. In any area that God has called you, is going to manifest this moment. I stand as oracle of God. I now pass a degree. As you are prophesizing to your dreams, may your dream come to reality. Let your vision begin to speak. By the power of the Holy Ghost. From the power that manipulates him. Somebody prophesies to your brother. Prophesies. Right now. Prophesies. Prophesies. In the name of Jesus. I pray for you. As you speak today. May the doors of a vision open. Amen. May your doors of dream open. Amen. May you go and succeed. Amen. Go and favor. Amen. Go and bless. Amen. In the name of the Father. Amen. Of the Son. Amen. Somebody of the Holy Spirit. Amen. 